Russia began to use electronic countermeasures against Israel. After the Israel Defense Forces announced that Russian electronic jamming systems create obstacles for the flights of Israeli aircraft, both civilian and military, it became known that these Russian electronic warfare systems cannot be located at the Kamaymim Air Base, as Israel claims this, since they do not have such a long range. However, it is more than likely that Russian jamming systems could be deployed at the Russian Navy base in Tardis, which makes it possible to successfully cover the entire northern territory of Israel with a jamming dome. In recent weeks, airline pilots have experienced a phenomenon that has recurred after a three-year hiatus, serious GPS failures on planes preparing to land at Ben Gurion Airport, Israeli TV channel Khan 11 reported a few hours ago. It is reported that Israel demanded that Russia immediately stop using these weapons, however, the Russian side, according to the Israeli source, categorically refused this, noting that the Russian military was being protected in this way. In turn, a little earlier it became known that the terrorists were planning to carry out terrorist acts in Tardis and Latakia, including with the use of drones, and Russian complexes could well be used as a means of protection against such drones in connection with which Israel's complaints are completely unfounded. Hundreds of Syrian citizens died from Israeli strikes, but the IDF decided to declare some kind of danger, blaming Russia for this. It is quite obvious that due to the actions of Russia, Israeli aircraft will strike ineffectively, not to mention the extremely difficult reconnaissance of the Syrian space. The expert marks.